I asked a few of my friends what comes to mind when they think of poo. Here's what they had to say. So apparently most people think that poo is yucky, smelly, a waste product with no apparent use. But I'm here to tell you different. Poo can actually be a really useful tool for wildlife biologists like me who want to understand more about the reproductive biology of a species. So over the past two years, I have collected lots and lots and lots of poo from the short-beaked echidna. Reproductively, the short-beaked echidna is a fascinating species. While classed as mammals, they possess this weird yet wonderful mix of both mammalian and reptilian features. So while they produce milk to feed their young like all other mammals, they lay eggs just like birds and reptiles do. Despite this unique biology, we know very little about the finer details of short-beaked echidna reproduction. How long is the Easter cycle? How many cycles do they have each breeding season? And is ovulation or release of the egg from the ovary spontaneous or does it require the presence of a male? Using the samples collected over the past two years, I can analyse these for reproductive hormones such as oestrogen and progesterone. It is understanding how these two hormones interact that can help us map the oestrus cycle and answer the many questions we have about the reproductive biology of the short-beaked echidna. My PhD hopes to change this using the power of poo. Without knowledge of this key information, very few baby short-beaked echidnas, otherwise known as puggles, have been born in captivity. This is also the case for the three critically endangered species of long-beaked echidna found in Papua New Guinea, which have never reproduced in captivity. This will help the zoo industry to make adjustments to the way they approach captive breeding of the short-beaked echidna. Further, the knowledge gained from understanding short-beaked echidna reproduction will serve as a valuable model for understanding reproduction in the long-beaked echidna so that we can work towards removing them from the critically endangered list. My name is Kate Dutton-Register and I'm a PhD student from the University of Queensland in Australia.